hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the dodge and burn and the skin retouch full process step by step so this one is the stock image and i'm doing this one because of i want to share this photo with you please check out my video description for the download link and that's for the practice purpose press ctrl command j you'll get the copy of this layer and another copy by this copy controller command j at first we'll do the dodge and burn so dodge and burn is the simplest way uh, that it means the shadow and highlight one is the highlight and another one is the shadow so highlight in the downside and shadow in the upper side that's good turning off the shadow select the highlight going to the blending mode and changing it to screen right press blending options from here here is sliding and slider actually press the alter option button and divide the slider and find out the highlight area nicely that's good and hit ok mask it out going to the image and then apply image after that hit ok and now this one shadow change the blending mode into multiply blending options find out the shadow area alter option button for the dividation of this slider and then hit ok again mask it out and then going to the image and apply image in this case check the invert option and hit ok that's good select these two layers making it group by pressing ctrl or command g and hs or uh, dodge and man or dv whatever you should or you do like mask it out and then image again apply image and then uncheck the invert options and hit ok let's see the dodge and burn nicely done that's good press ctrl command j will make another copy of this layer and then we'll take it into the downside of this that's good and now we'll make this one into like uh, make this one convert to smart object that's fine and now going to the filter and then camera filter we'll do all the steps over there and from the basic panels I'm making the texture a little bit up because of the skin texture if you get the skin texture so you can just make this one you can make this one a little bit of zoom so get the skin texture properly a little bit that's good and the clarity I'll make it a little bit down it will make the smoothness and dehaze a little bit up and adding some shadow a little bit not too much and the contrast a little bit up and here vibrance a little bit down that's good and then if you want to pick the proper color of the face select here the eyedropper select in the eye properly actually a little bit like this that's fine and then add some vibrance a little bit that's good and going to the detail options adding some color noise reduction and here the sharpness that's good going to the color mixture which is the important part of this tutorial because of i want to change up the all the stuffs over there here is hue which color will be defined with that and saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color from here hue i'll change the hue of this i'll make this one face color like this saturation a little bit up and luminance a little bit up actually a little bit down hue red hue i should make this one a little bit like this okay orange hue should be like this and the yellow hue like this green like that and here saturation a little bit up all the stuffs i want to make this one a little bit up and basic portion i'll add some little bit warm tone that's good and actually we should uncheck this one and after that going to the calibration options from here i'll make the color like this that's good that's nice and the red primary should be like this yeah that's good the green primary minus six that's fine and going to the color grading options from here the shadow color add some saturation and find out the proper color so i would prefer the 66 for the color copying this one and the shadow options or highlight option i'll add same value and saturation 19 and i should change it up okay 200 is the value for the hue in a mid tone and the uh, actually this one is the highlight and mid tone i'll change it up which should be 
okay suggestion a little bit down that's good but i am just facing over there texture should be like uh, plus five percent is good and then hit the ok button so we got this color too much color so in this portion i'll make the fill of the dodge and burn should be like that okay that's fine going to the color lookup options we'll add some color from here fuji film like this and then we'll make the color or fill color like this and then going to the levels options from here i'll change up the levels like this and like this okay that's fine so we should crop the image going to the crop tool and making this one like square shape okay that's fine and then crop it out okay that's good and selecting all the stops and making this one into convert to smart object and after making that we'll go to the filter so going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 we'll get uh, the lots of filters and then i'm using here the cross processing over there and uh, here's lots of sub method and i'll choose the c04 and hit ok so we are getting all the nice effects before one and after one so lots of changes and everything over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment on my video comment section under the next video asmr signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye